I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll see what it takes and what it's like to join the upcoming Small Worlds 3 expedition. This is an organized, somewhat short trip, totaling 9200 light years while stopping at nine different nebula. If you've yet to visit a nebula, they are some of the most beautiful places in the galaxy and are much more accessible than you may realize. Let's look at some information about Small Worlds and what we'd need to undertake it. First, a bit more about Small Worlds 3. This short-range expedition begins on May 26th, wrapping up on June 16th of 3304. There are 10 systems planned as waypoints along the journey, and currently more than 150 commanders have enlisted. All that is needed is a minimum of about 5 million credits, and that's it. While engineering will give a much higher jump range, you can still enjoy this trip thoroughly without it. Small class ships are required, so in typical fashion, let's start with a build. As the obvious choice is the Diamondback Explorer, let's have a closer look at one. We'll want to run a 2A power plant, as that has minimum mass with good thermal efficiency. If we're engineering, we'll do low emission with thermal spread here. For thrusters, we'll do 4D, as we'll be in normal space very rarely. If we're engineering, we do clean drives again with thermal spread. For our frame shift drive, we'll want increased range with deep charge. For life support, we'll go with D-Class, lightweight if available. As we really don't need a distributor, we'll go with the lightest 1D and even power it off once we've set it. 3D sensors with lightweight, if available again, round out the core. Let's get rid of our hard points and install two heat sinks as our only utilities. For our optional internals, we'll start with the all-crucial 4A fuel scoop to speed our constant refueling. We'll want a 4A auto field maintenance unit to repair the inevitable damage we'll take to our FSD while doing neutron boosted jumps. A 3D shield generator will keep us safe from bumping into anything and we'll also want a 2G planetary vehicle hangar. Both the detailed surface and advanced discovery scanner complete the build. For our unengineered DBX, we'll be looking at a jump range of 36 light years laden, 58 light years with only Felicity, and 59 fully grade 5. I'll include links to a number of builds below. As I've never been one for enjoying the standard meta, I'll be heading out in what I think is the best looking ship in the galaxy, the Imperial Eagle. My build is linked below. With enhanced performance thrusters, I get a jump range of 31 with a boost speed of 675 meters per second all with engineering from just Felicity. That should be a ton of fun during planetary landing sessions. Now let's look at some of the skills you'll want to have before undertaking this journey. First, you'll want to be familiar with neutron jumps and the neutron superhighway. Given this is a somewhat short range trip, this is less crucial than a longer range journey. However, it will still save you some time and help you learn a valuable skill. Have a look at my previous video on neutron jumps and the superhighway linked on screen now. Next, you'll want to count set up on both Inara and ED Star Map. While optional, both of these tools will track your trip by recording a number of statistics about your ship and journeys. Once you've created accounts on both, you'll want to download and install ED Market Connector, all linked below. Once installed, you can add your API keys from both Inara and EDSM so that all of your activity is automatically tracked in both tools. A few other quick tips. First is taking high resolution screenshots via Alt F10. This does require you be in solo, however. Another is having the target next system in route key bound. This will let you quickly jump back to the next hop in your route if you change your navigation selection to a body or station. Being familiar with friends, wings, and wing beacons will also be helpful. Finally, a quick distributor trick. If you set your distributor to 2, 4, 0, then power it off, the power routing settings will stay giving you maximum cruise speed since you likely won't be able to boost. Now that we're ready to go, let's get signed up for the event. Just head over to the forum post linked below and register. The registration form is rather short and will have you signed up for the event quickly. You'll also want to join the official Discord for the event, also linked below. During the expedition, there will be daily meetups scheduled for Mondays through Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays. If you've never undertaken even a medium range exploration trip, this is a fantastic way to start. The cost of entry is very low, engineering isn't required, 
and there will be many other experienced pilots joining you on the journey. Not only will you get to see some of the more beautiful parts of the galaxy, the nebula are amazing, but you can also earn good credits from the scanning and pass the needed 5,000 light years of travel to unlock the engineer Professor Palin. Hopefully this guide has given you the information you need to set out on what should be a fantastic trip and I hope to see many of you along the way. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you'll have a look at my library of Elite Dangerous videos on a wide variety of subjects. You can also join me each week for my live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays and Friends on Fridays, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts by subscribing via Patreon.